10 o'clock. Two people will, should be. John, could you do us a great favor and just go and push the door to? So again, Good morning. There's a great, so those of you who are watching on uh, Zoom, there's a great big screen here and people are just around the corner. So I keep looking around the corner to see who's around and getting, getting waved at. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Good morning, everybody. Warm welcome to you to our service here this morning and um, I think I'll just begin, the first screen is gonna come up. Uh, have we got on this first screen yet? No, let's move on. The first screen is actually just some prayer requests. So if you take note of the names and the people on our screen that's just come up, uh, these are requests for prayers. Now we've got different intercessions, but these are people, if you can include them. And obviously those of you are from Slapton will recognize uh, one of the names there. Even with the new restrictions, we can still hold funerals in church and uh, we will be having a funeral here on the 12th of November. I forget what month, but in, sorry about that. Uh, the 12th of November, but that's obviously for the family only. It's not a public occasion. No one else can come other than those who are actually invited by the family. And that will be the same for the one that, uh, that Claire will eventually have booked in for Paul Lesbury for Harry Tew. There's feedback coming through, but uh, hope, yeah, we're, we're having a bit of technical problem as well, but uh, hopefully we'll get through that. Um, I haven't got the screens in front of me. What have you got up there? The latest from the government's own. Ah, oh, yes, give you time to read that. That's not my information, this is from the government. It's about weddings, and then the second part tells you that the churches are closed as of Thursday, other than for the reasons on the screen and the bullet points. Yeah, we're broadcasting and we're recording, aren't we, John? Oh, right, I'll say something at the end of the service. There'll be more information about the future plans at the end of the service. Uh, so that's given you time to read that through. Let's move on. And Claire will have to tell me what's on the screen. Weekday events. This Wednesday, well, the Zoom Bible reflections will continue. That's not stopping. That's available and continuing on. Um, but obviously, on Wednesday, the Eucharist in Paulus Creek can happen. It'll be the last one. But the Thursday Eucharists are now stopped as our, our Sunday worship from within churches. And the next screen. Ah, yeah. Unfortunately, this includes Remembrance, the 8th of November. Um, at this moment in time, I haven't received any actual advice with regards to whether the outdoor ceremonies are permitted, but I think the logic of the fact that we're not supposed to meet with more than one person uh, means that the outdoor ceremonies will be cancelled. Uh, and the next screen was going to suggest that in any case, but uh, certainly the services in church that were planned for the 8th etc are now cancelled. It's the next one, the remembrance screen. Well, well, we have that because we've been on the next screen, haven't we? So we went to it. What's the next screen after that? Um, money. Money. We still need money. Even if the churches are closed, ministry is continuing on and we still need, even if we can't come into the buildings, the buildings still need maintaining and bills still need to be paid. So we do still need to receive financial contributions. And I believe this is why you were under the table, wasn't it? You were getting a collection plate. Yes, there's a collection plate at the back of church. Uh, so those of you in church can, can uh, donate to the upkeep of this church and the ministry for these benefices by putting onto the plates. If you're not on, in church, there are other ways to give uh, and we do ask you to do so. But planned giving is the best way of giving. 
Is it the hymn? Now we're going to ask Andrew to entertain us, not to help us in our worship. Uh, here in church, we cannot sing. But those of you at home can, and it's for all the saints. <laughs> We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. We pray together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's return to the time of our service to make ourselves right with God once again, our prayers of penitence. Christ calls us to share the heavenly banquet of his love with all the saints in earth and heaven. Knowing our unworthiness and sin, let us ask from him both mercy and forgiveness. We take a moment to reflect. We have some music to help us in this time of reflection.
and so we pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we turn to the collect for this All Saints Day. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age as we rejoice in the faith of your saints. Inspire us to follow their example with holiness and joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it, it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And so now we come to the gradual, which again here in church, we am afraid we cannot sing. You can hear the music and read the words and sing it in your heads. But at home, you've got the chance to sing as loudly and as willingly as you can. God forgave my sin in Jesus' name.
if only everybody had been seeing what I was seeing during the singing of the gradual. It's lovely to see the back row all swaying to the music. <laughs> we turn to the gospel. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of the Lord. I'm happy this Sunday. My iPad's working, so I've got my sermons coming up on it. Family trees. Family itself. All is very important through the history of the Hebrew people, as is recorded in scripture even to jesus for whom matthew and luke one a jewish writer the other a gentile writer record his family history to be a child in this clan or that is of great value i am a mcleod a member of this great clan and this is something that I am quite happy about, even if the name does mean, as you must know by now, son of the ugly one. <laughs> Glad to be educational today then. Perhaps that's why I don't have any children. Although actually I'm only a member I don't actually mean the word only. I am a member of the McLeod clan through adoption, which means that I was drawn into the clan, not by birth, but by choices that were made. I'm telling you this again, because to me, it makes me think of the words of Paul in his letter to the Romans, how we may be drawn into the family of God. We receive a spirit of adoption. We are made children of God. Yes, all of us. I often speak also of the difficulties and challenges of being a Christian. Being a follower of Jesus is not to be a bed of roses, not to be comfortable, for we receive a message from Christ that is challenging and demands of us to be different to those amongst whom we live. And being different is to be uncomfortable, is to be somebody who is challenged and challenging. We are to be people who receive blessing from God as we follow his teaching and proclaim the truth and good news to the world. To be compassionate and to be prepared to stand out as beacons of light and love against the darkness and hate that prevails around us in the world in so many ways. This is the gospel 
the good news, which finds its fulfillment on the cross. Yes, we have to remember that the victory over death has been won, but it was won through sacrifice. This was once and once for all to show the extent of God's love for his children, for all of us and all beyond us. And this is the important point for us on this All Saints Day, which is also All Saints Sunday this year. All of us are called to be saints as we are all indeed children in God's family, brothers and sisters of Christ Jesus himself, and therefore, or thereby rather, of one another. We can all look after one another as a part of this family. We have care and love for one another, even if at times we don't see eye to eye, or even if we don't necessarily like one another, we can still have love. All Saints is very much to include this aspect, reflecting on who all these saints are, not just those who have witnessed to Christ Jesus in the past, but to celebrate those who live today and to pray to God for those who will come tomorrow. And amongst that number, those who are called to be saints, is us. Yes, we are amongst those who are the saints. Not because of anything we have done or will do. Although let's hope there are great things in all that we can do. But because God has chosen us. God loves us and God is with us always. We are now amongst those who call Jesus our Lord, our Saviour, and are privileged to call him our brother, and at his invitation to call him our friend. As we live out our faith in the world at this time, with challenges and difficulties in the world, in the way we are relating to another, we continue to be able to proclaim good news and to bring hope into the lives of those amongst whom we live. We do so with compassion, understanding, and love. I'm not saying we are all perfect, that we are all gleaming, shining custodians of the light of Christ. But this is what makes us fully amongst the saints throughout the ages. For no one other than Christ himself has been, is, or will be perfect. But we are all seeking to hear the word, to respond to that word, and to live out the word day by day. And this is what makes us saints, to have chosen with heart and mind to follow Christ, and that this choice is a blessing, a gift from God for us. So as we reflect on saints throughout the ages today, let us set out to live as they lived, witnessing to Christ Jesus in our age, in our time, keeping the faith alive and relevant, and being able to worship God together as members of one family, of God's family. Amen. Now we turn to an affirmation of faith. We proclaim the church's faith in Jesus Christ. We believe and declare that our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is both divine and human. God of the being of the Father, the only Son from before time began, human from the being of his mother, born in the world, fully God and fully human, human in both mind and body. 
As God, he is equal to the Father. As human, he is less than the Father. Although he is both divine and human, he is not two beings, but one Christ. One, not by turning God into flesh, but by taking humanity into God, truly one, not by missing humanity, but by being one person. For as mind and body form one human being, so the one Christ is both divine and human. The word became flesh and lived among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the only Son of the Father full of grace and truth. We now turn to our prayers of intercession, which hopefully will come through for us in church, through the internet at home. It will just sound like everything else. Lord of all, we come before you, our sovereign over all that is and has been and shall be. We acknowledge your greatness. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. In your name, we come with confidence, faith, joy, and thanksgiving, knowing that as you have guided your people across the years, so you will continue to guide us today. And knowing also that in life or in death, wherever we walk and whatever we experience, you will be there alongside us, a rock and a refuge, a constant source of strength, an unfailing giver of hope, an unquenchable fountain of life and love. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Lord of all, for all who have gone before us, and for calling us in turn to be part of that great company of saints. We thank you and praise you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. All giving Father, shower your grace upon us, that we may live as those ready for the coming of Christ, and to offer an example to those around us, not superior in our attitudes, but offering ourselves to others, proclaiming the gospel through faithful discipleship. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Ever loving God, we present ourselves to you today as ordinary people, with no particular merits to boast of. Yet you have welcomed each of us into your family. You have called us to be your church and you have given us a place among the great company of saints in heaven and on earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Thanks be to God. Amen. And so now we come to be sharing the peace with one another. I remind you that we'll be using the sign language form for that in a moment or two. First, the words to greet us and bring us into this wonderful time. May the God of peace sanctify you. May he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before him at the coming of our Lord Jesus with his saints. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Just I'll show you it and then we'll do it. So just watch first on screen and in church, those of you who can see. So thumbs on the bottom, pointing fingers at the top, join them together and we draw them out and bring them together. The peace palm upwards, be with, and then we point at each other, however you want to do it, with you. So there we go. Let's do it together. Peace, be with you.
There was some really disappointing news. I was, someone was, was one of the scientists, medical advisor was saying is that he thinks that the time of us shaking hands has gone, but we'll never do it again. I hope they're wrong because I look forward to shaking hands for the peace, at least in church. But, oh dear, science, eh? But we've got to follow it. And anyway, we're now going to turn to the Eucharistic prayer. That's great Thanksgiving prayer. And I hope I've got the right words for the beginning. Is it? Is it the Lord be with you? I've got the right words. Okay. I keep getting it wrong at the start of this prayer. So, uh, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should always sing of your glory, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For you are the hope of the nations, the builder of the city that is to come. Your love, made visible in Jesus Christ, brings home the lost, restores the sinner, and gives dignity to the despised. In his face, your light shines out, flooding lives with goodness and truth, gathering into one in your kingdom, a divided and broken humanity. Therefore, with all who can give voice in your creation, we glorify your name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all your saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now I'm going to distribute the host, the bread to all here in church. And in a moment or two, once I've started this, Claire will read the spiritual communion for those of you who are at home. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. For those of you at home that cannot receive the sacrament as in church, Please join in with the spiritual communion. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Give thanks for the saving death and resurrection of Jesus and ask him to be with you now. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. Amen. The body of Christ broken for us. The blood of Christ shed for us.
God, the source of all holiness and giver of all good things, may we who have shared at this table as strangers and pilgrims here on earth be welcomed with all your saints to the heavenly feast on the day of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. We come towards the ending of our service. The words of blessing, the words of dismissal, and then or when the saints go marching in, good luck. May Christ, who makes saints of sinners, who has transformed those we remember today, raise and strengthen you, that you may transform the world. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Over to you, Andrew. got the screen for the end and now can we go to the next screen for the remain sorry not muffle for the remainder of november we will be hosting worship via zoom as we're not permitted into church other than for the reasons on the screen funeral with 30 people or fewer an emergency or urgent wedding i know it sounds strange but they do happen Generally, unfortunately, it's very sad situations when someone's about to die. Uh, or for private prayer. So your, your individual private prayer, from what I understand, is permitted to continue. So if you already have that in the churches and it's set up, it can continue. But we're not allowed to come back in for worship into the church buildings. So we will offer, as we did back at the beginning of lockdown, our services via Zoom. So I do invite you to keep an eye on that. Invitations are normally sent out on the Thursday or a Friday. Uh, please encourage me by worshipping God with us together as a benefice in that way.
Those of you here in church, I remind you that when you're leaving, please do so maintaining your social distances of two meters and do not gather in groups of greater than six. That is still not permitted. Uh, but other than that, thank you very much. Thank you to uh, Carolyn here in church and Caroline, was it? Really? Ca Caroline at home. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, thanks to our tech team. Thanks to Andrew for playing the organ once again here. And I think he might be going to play us out in a second. But uh, other than that, thank you very much. Worship God. No matter what happens, we still have God with us. The victory has already been won. Alleluia. Amen. Can you hear me, Melanie? Yeah, I can.